Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to do your reading for the month of June. I am finally, <laughs> I wanted to start this a long time ago, but I'm finally making some changes to the monthlies. It's, um, it's only extra, it's only adding to, um, but I will let you guys know in like the end of the read what it is and everything because I don't want to, you know, open up the reading with talking about that. We're just going to jump into your reading. Um, Gemini season is about to start, a couple days, and uh, I think it's really good for you guys. I think it's going to help you guys clarify a lot, especially if you have some Gemini energy in your uh, chart. It's going to help you in that particular uh, placement. So, for example, if you have a Gemini moon, it's going to help you, you know, um, really speak out and get to the core of your emotions, for example. So... Um, I think overall it's going to bring in some fresh energy and of course it's the start of summer as well, 21st of June, um, which kicks off the season, but um, I, I really do feel that you're going to have some, uh, some really clarifying moments, which you actually need to move forward from certain things. What I got, keep having, what I kept hearing, sorry. Um, during meditation for you guys was like why is it not good enough N not good enough must be good enough something like that I don't know if that's the person coming through asking themselves about you uh, like why is it not good enough why can why does the Aquarius not want me okay <laughs> or maybe it's you you know um, applying for jobs feeling like you may be not you know um, qualified enough and, and asking yourself why and um, I'm just I'm just hearing that so if that's you then I'm picking up on, on your energy or this could be something that's gonna come in the month of June we're not gonna um, hold on to that too tightly but I feel you're gonna get some real answers to those questions so I think you're gonna start getting into a new sense of self-confidence and also self-acceptance. They always say it's self-love, but what is self-love, right? Um, it has so many different type of ways to show yourself love and to um, approach yourself in, in the frequency of love, basically. And I think self-acceptance is a really big part of that because if you can't embrace yourself, you can accept yourself, then can't show out that energy you can send out that energy to others as well it's it, it's it starts within look at that <laughs> it's coming back okay Aquarius this has been a team for you guys during the month to of sorry during the year of 2019 it started off in December this is that coming out of the tunnel into the light this is it this is getting those answers you know those gray areas Things you never really got an answer to. Things you're still like sort of lingering on. And you're just continuing on with your day. With your week. With your month. And it's just always a grey area somewhere. It's like I don't know about that. You know. Like I have no answers. I feel like you're coming out seeing things very clear. Very <laughs> crystal clear. When it comes to the month of June. And I think it's really going to help you make new make decisions. Last month. Month of May. And month of April, it's I really see a change in you guys' energy. I see you, yes, still having certain concerns, certain fears, certain, um, uh, you know, moments of anxiety, basically, towards something or just a feel, basically. But um, I see you guys taking it head on. Like, no, I know I am afraid or no, I have this these emotions and feelings around it. But I'm still going to try and I'm still going to go out there. And I think that's so beautiful, Aquarius. So you're really taking things head on. And I think you, you're going to get to a place where it's more peaceful. When you don't just have to continuing, uh, continuing battling certain things on a daily. Like I feel like it's, it's not going to come around as much. You know. So we're going to keep this one here. So it says a rite of passage crossing the threshold. So you're crossing it. You're crossing it. Okay. It's time. Very powerful. I feel the energy for you guys coming through. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if you or your highest.
yourself wants to come true or maybe it's a person you know maybe a person wants to say something to you let's see okay oh you guys are going to get some recognition this month yeah nine of cups <laughs> i love this aquarius i like to see you guys in this it's realizing that wow there you guys are star card it's realizing your wants your needs not necessarily what the group thinks as or puts on a pedestal of like okay that's when you reach this or when you reach that that's when you're successful no it's about you you've been chasing that for a little bit in your life and it just wasn't for you and you're now starting to come into alignment with it no but this makes me feel good you know this makes me happy this makes me want to get out of bed basically yeah okay five of swords nine of swords there was there yeah let me how do i put that in the right words because <laughs> it's a fail <laughs> and i need to find words for it um very a person around you very very putting their expectations onto you putting their ways onto you a person that doesn't really let you or a situation where you were in that didn't really let you evolve like it was just like oh let me you know build this for walls basically like that right and let me put aquarius inside of it and that's all there is basically and i feel like somebody got in your head with something like they got into you but it was just like all i ever wanted was to just be happy is what i'm hearing you know all i ever wanted was to feel good about my life feel good about the relationship i am feel good about this feel good about that and i've just always tried so hard running with the crowd and it just it it made me literally and like drained basically so i feel like you're giving up a fight maybe it was your mind and your heart having these constant battles you know yeah i think this is a good thing but i feel that this should be better i think i feel i feel i think you know it's it's that my that that battle so i feel for some of you when you start to feel good your mind is starting to fight it for some of you this is not for all of you but for some of you who are dealing with um you know a sense of depression anxiety uh, an overthinking mind which of course is not that crazy if you are an Aquarius it's just you know a, a, a trait you get <laughs> but it's that head over heart head over heart decision basically but that just shows to me how much stronger you're getting you know how much you had to overcome or have have to overcome three of wands wow look at that sun card three of wands sun card so something is coming out you see this you're going through it you're going through it what happens you're starting to see your ships come in and what's coming out is the sun no matter what you know, I feel some of you have like a very unpleasant brain. <laughs> like as a, if you put it into like a person or a friend or something, it's that friend that just always is like you're telling them, for example, I'm going to on this trip. And it's like, yeah, but you know what happened on that trip? Like, you know, all the horrible things that can happen on that trip. I mean, they're trying to protect you, but they make you less excited about the fact you're going on that trip. They're trying to scare you. That's literally your mind sometimes okay but i feel like you're overcoming that no matter what your mind is telling you you still are going to follow the sun basically so money looks oh yeah 
I'm sorry, I'm going to go with this card. And you know what? You know what? I'm not going to say like that friend is never right. Your mind has never really um, been any help because it has. Because you also have this uh, ability to just say, yes, this is stressful. Yes, I have these feelings and emotions. But right now, they're not helping me. You have this switch. And it's not healthy to use it every day and all day, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to be in tune with both. But you do have this red button that you can push. And then it's like, okay, let me see clearly now. I got to go this. I got to go do that. Oh, yes, I feel a certain way about it. But that right now is not the most important thing. I got to get myself out of this situation. Let's just look at it from a distance. And then just look at it in a logical way. What can I uh, physically now change about the situation regardless how i feel <laughs> you guys do that sometimes i don't lie to me now <laughs> sometimes but it's so useful um because you see it's like true source but i'm gonna be like this about it you know um for some of you Some of you, you need a, a little bit more softer approach towards yourself. Have a little bit more compassion with the heartbreak you had. Like um, you guys might have been recently or been through, um, you know, a breakup of a relationship. And you just feel sad. You know, like you feel left out in the cold. But you're very hard to watch yourself about it. It's like, um, I shouldn't even have let myself get into that type of relationship. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that. Because you're being very hard about the fact that you feel a certain way. It's okay to feel emotions sometimes. You know, it's okay to feel hurt or it's okay to feel sad. It's it's just, it's, it's also part of life, Aquarius. But what I see with this is that because a, a situation, what I'm getting is a situation that kept sort of giving you these type of heartbreaks right whether that's work whether that's um you know a love relationship but it could also just been um an approach to life something that kept making you feel this way and you're like enough is enough i now know what i want i know what i'm worth i know what makes me feel this way and i'm going after it and you're doing really good okay because I mean, I know Aquarius people as one of the most loving and caring people, okay? Like, you guys give. If you get, for example, $10, you give 9 away. Or you give 10 away. <laughs> you know, it's like you do something for somebody. Um, it's just, that's just the beauty of you guys' soul. It really is. And um, I feel that... It's okay to have a healthy balance in that, you know, and also really understand like where does it come from? Like, why do I give? Do I give because I feel like I should always do something extra to, to make up for something? Um, is it because you feel like you're not worthy enough? So you're trying to make that person feel a certain way about you because of what you can do for them? You know, it's really going deep into that. And that's, sometimes it's like hard because you have to be so honest with yourself, right? It's, um, are you getting into a certain relationship where you feel like you can actually help the person? Like the person needs help, sort of. And you feel like I'm needed in this relationship. Um, it's not necessarily something you think. And you're very like, you know, I'm going to, for this and I'm going for that. No, it's not like that. It's something sometimes you do because you feel like you're maybe not worthy deep down within and that's something you have to sort of work at. Maybe it's something you've been through in your childhood and it's just been playing out throughout your entire life. And when you look at those situations, you're like, whoa, it's actually a pattern. You know, and allow yourself to see that way without making yourself feel completely down about it. You know, I do see a heartbreak and I also know that for some of you it's like, you know what, I'm I'm over this this relationship right now. I need to focus on my coins. Okay? Um, because you go from like 
this energy right up into the <laughs> that he is um you know the king of swords he's tough you know he's up front but he's fair it's very real very like okay this is what it's supposed to be this is what we're gonna do i really don't actually care about what you think it should look like this is what it should look like because that's the that's like you know that's been proven so we gotta go and follow this pathway <laughs> you know it's like that um or if you don't show respect for me i will not show that level of respect for you i'm not gonna run after you it's that energy okay let's see what else is coming up because i like it because there's a lot of cards out there you see the ace of swords yeah somebody ready to speak the truth somebody ready to speak the truth okay then we have the five of wands with the knight um of wands five of wands knight of wands and the ace of swords maybe you've been struggling with a fire sign energy uh could be some moon or rising I feel you no longer want to give in to situations that just are aren't for you you know it's like you're you're having inner struggles and I feel for the month of June you really are going to overcome certain things you're no longer gonna let yourself get into these situations where you just have to um, you know um, disconnect from a part of yourself which makes you you basically is what I'm hearing so very excited new chapter it might be a uh, fire sign rushing into your life this month while you out there doing your thing focusing on other things and there's a person coming in but i also feel that if you have been dealing with some you know it's not major arguments but it has been a little bit you know under the table like struggle energy you know really communicating with the person uh, maybe you found that somebody was gossiping about you. You're letting yourself in with some gossip, you know. And it's not good for your energy is what I'm feeling. So that's what you're realizing. So you're sort of making a decision to say, listen, I am my own person. I'm embracing this. I'm going on this journey by myself. And I'm cutting out the things that hold me back. That's what I'm getting. I mean, it could be truth talking towards a fire energy, fire sign. But what I feel more is that I'm cutting out the things that hold me back from this new beginning, from this life, from these good energies that I'm getting. Okay? So. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. But that's what I'm getting for you guys right now. We have one more card. Ace of Swords. Yeah, Emperor. That most definitely could be uh, a fire energy, okay, around you. A fire sign could be Aries, but <laughs> I think it's pretty clear, Aquarius. Look at this. It's like I'm cutting out things that keep me here. Um, it's Emperor. Claiming your business, claiming your name, claiming your your own soul, claiming your own pathway. It's like, um, that shows me how serious you are about making these changes and about evolving and growing and moving forward. That's really what I'm getting for you guys with these cards. Okay, what are we going to do next? Um, like I said, I wanted to talk about some changes I'm making to the channel. Um, I always wanted to do deeper readings than just, you know, the monthlies and the way that I've been doing them. So I decided to actually uh, start a an account on Vimeo. I don't want to make you guys feel like, oh, now, you know, because I've been doing this like this for like almost a year and a half now. I, I don't, you know, do it for... Um, for the money or anything. Like, I've always, you know, just go with the flow. But I feel that 
um, I want to go and do deeper readings basically and I'm adding something to the channel it's not like I'm taking anything away from the monthlies as I've been doing them I'm really excited about it um, what we're actually going to do is look at a single spread and a relationship spread so deeper into love as well um, I'm going to um, do a pick a card reading we're going to do um, Know, work with some affirmations like it's just a lot of extra things that I'm gonna do on extra on top of the you know YouTube uh, readings that I'm, I've been doing for the last year and a half and I'm just really excited about it so <laughs> um, yes you can if you are interested in going into the deeper read together and look you know look at this spread because we're gonna clarify some of the cards and then you know do an extra spread as well for singles and for people that are in a relationship um, then you can find that link down in the description box Aquarius and I would just love to see you guys there like honestly it will mean the world to me but if you can't and if you won't it's totally fine because I love the support and uh, you know time that you guys spend on YouTube with me already so much I really appreciate that so don't feel pressured but I would love for you guys to be there because I love uh, you know connecting with my Aquarius so, so. Um, yes, that was it for this month. I hope that um, you guys got some clarif um, clarifying energy from that and messages. And uh, we're going to head over to Vimeo now. So thank you so much if you're not coming with us. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys back soon. Okay. Bye Aquarius. I love you. Bye.